out of the hospital and we are back <laughs> well almost i think my hair gives away that we aren't fully back to our rhythm but we are sailing again we couldn't wait to spend a full day on the water to go on an adventure so join us today in a few typical boat life days with cleaning the hole some exploring and sailing and we even got a special visit from one of our patrons behind anchor again out of the hospital and we slept for 10 hours and it was amazing and it is really like Benjamin is a totally different person so that uh, shows how much your surroundings can impact your state of mind and your state of being what did you say oh you want to feed the fishes yes okay but first daddy's gonna feed the fishes with <laughs> Cleaning the boat! There's so much growth on the on the finsulate, on the anti-fouling. I'm gonna take it away. Let's see how it works. <laughs> what happened, Captain? I'm so down. <laughs> now you can see how experienced we are with wet suits. <laughs> <laughs> They're on both sides. Yeah, there are. I didn't know that. Okay, a little interruption here guys. As you know, we have Vinsolade as an alternative for the toxic anti-fouling solutions like copper coat and paint. But there is currently a lot of discussions about this product and there are some bad reviews. And on top of that, you probably have noticed that we are not that articulate about our experiences yet. And that has a reason. If we recommend a product, or a company, we want to be sure it is good. Finsolade is now at this moment one and a half years on our boat. Up until a few months ago, we have been pretty much constantly sailing with little growth and easily to brush off with our Scots Pride patches. But now we stayed a lot in the marina and marina just means massive growth. So the question is now, <laughs> a very important one, how will the Finsolade actually hold up? We are not experienced divers, as you just uh, noticed. So for us, it is a little too much to dive under the boat and clean her totally by hand. So what we will do in a month or two, we will lift the boat out of the water or we are going to get some diving gear to see how Finslade is doing now with little to no sailing and how easily it is to clean or not. We will probably arrange also some power tools. So thanks Delos for the inspiration here. And to get really in an idea of the amount of work that goes into cleaning Finsulate. And we will make a comparison to our first one and a half year sailing with a copper coat. But for now, it was just cleaning the waterline, which went pretty good. So here you can see, this is the growth. And this is what I cleaned. And I cleaned just here. But this is as soft as a carpet again it takes some effort to get it off but when it's off it looks good so this is the difference and i think if we want to clean the whole hole we have to get it out or get some proper diving gear 
to get it out. But uh, so far, so good. The copper coat, I really had to to take it off with a spatel, but this is still a, lo a lot of work, of course. But it's kind of easy removable, and the tinselate sticks, so that's good. Okay, Benjamin, did you catch something? What's up? No fish. No fish. Ah, so good to have something to eat. Because it's hard work, but I'm happy with the result. Well, good morning. We started with filming two days ago, but we are a little bit chaotic with everything. Um, but that's also because Benjamin is back from the hospital. He's doing amazingly well. Uh, but we had also some time to take, uh, needed some time to take a little bit of a rest. And in the meanwhile, we had uh, one patron joining us, and that's when we filmed a little bit. So we can show you that uh, later. Yeah, today uh, it's gonna be a day on the water, exploring again. Really, the sailing life as we've lived for. Uh, last year so exciting <laughs> I'm doubting where uh, to do my exercises but I actually think I'm gonna do it on land I'm gonna do it on land yes <laughs> But uh, so we start with film with uh, Eric, our patron on board, and it's very special. It was the first time that he traveled after his wife died three years ago, and uh, yeah, we found it extremely courageous and have deep respect for what he did. We just said, "Come on, join us in Montenegro," and he did. And it's such a sweet, loving man, and uh, it was a great pleasure to meet him. Fortunately, we didn't sail; there was no wind. Do you like it over here? Yes, I like it. I love it. Yeah? It's a special day for me. Now, Eric is our patron and he is not a patron for a long time. But immediately we got a connection and we had some conversation together. And then I told him, I said, maybe you should just come to Montenegro. And then I got a message from him. Yeah, yeah, I booked a trip to Montenegro. <coughs> and now we are here. So this is how life goes. Yeah, that's it. That's feeling the breeze, right? of my pregnancy that I'm a little bit scared of, uh, of things <laughs> and one of that is this uh, giant leap which isn't that giant but uh, for me it is so I'm gonna try I can't film this one but uh, I will tell you if I succeed so I've made it but uh, I'm really in love with our new place in the marina of Puerto Montenegro uh, we were first on the other side between uh, the bigger super yachts, which was really, really safe. More safe than here. It was very secluded and fenced off. Um, but here we are just between the sailing yachts, close to the gym, playground for Benjamin. So I'm actually pretty happy. Sun comes in the boat whole day. No big super yachts near us that's blocking our view. So pretty good. spiritual maybe a lot <laughs> but uh, I find that within stillness you can find so many answers about yourself about your life your intuition gets room with paths to choose to follow so 
take my moment of silence. Hello, little one. <laughs> Mom, you're gonna you're gonna clean everything up. No, that one doesn't fit. We're gonna we're gonna roll this one. Always oh, excited. <laughs> His okay. own private okay. special yeah. cabin. It's his cave. Oh. It's his cave. <laughs> so now he has he, he has some food. I like Chinese cake. No. Oh. So uh, yes, Benjamin is enjoying himself lately uh, with making tents and caves. <laughs> yeah. Over there. There's an old submarine base and we're gonna explore if we're gonna moor alongside and there is an old castle and two years ago we uh, drove the Land Rover all the way down and the gun is on the bow she's gonna check uh, regarding the rocks if it is possible to uh, to moor alongside Yeah, here it should be deep enough. Yeah, but if you do a small part, better I can see. Yeah, I will. I, I go back now. Here. Yeah. Oh, you can see in the color of the water that's getting on deep. Throw it in. I don't know. How deep is that? Ten. Ten. Okay. So, now. Five. Oh, stop. Back, back, back. Rocks, rocks, harder! No, I don't think it, it's possible. Here there are already rocks. The wind will blow her away. Look, you can see now it's already deeper, but there it was not deep enough. I'm, I, I'm not willing to try. Maybe I should die first. Can swim. It's, it's always mysterious. Yeah, I thought maybe I'm gonna swim inside. Is it? But I don't know if I dare to. It's really spooky. Last time we were there, I was a little afraid. There was somebody sleeping inside.
So, here was a big submarine hiding. Can you imagine in those days? I think it's a little bit dark for you guys now. Mm. Okay. So time for a little exploring and maybe even a swim at the end of the day and then we had this beautiful sailing day and we can't complain otherwise then that we lost the drone today yes we did Ha <laughs> ha yeah, even took a scenic route so we can make some beautiful shots of the of our sailing boat for all of you. Instead of the drone. <laughs> we have no drone anymore! No! Man! Uh, first thing we have to do tomorrow. And look how clean the pincelate is. Then you remember going in, into the submarine cave. It, we have to look if the submarine is inside. Maybe it's there. Is there water? I think there is water inside. Is this a tunnel for cars? Yeah. Or for submarines? There a monster? Oh, a green monster. Pedro, this one. Driving, <laughs> Daddy. So we inspected the water. Good decision, Captain, to not Good do decision it. Decision not to berth <laughs> alongside because I think they put some rocks. So, better safe than sorry, right? Yeah. And up there we have a kind of, some kind of fortress and I think it's connected to the submarine caves. I think you're right. Man, you should make a, a hotel out of it. Yeah, and a very cool... Um, Swimming uh, spot. But uh, we're still rowing. We still don't have an outboard engine. But it's almost there. Almost. It arrived in the Netherlands. Yeah. So the next step is to pick it up and to bring it to Montenegro. Okay, Ben. So, so we if get there some is waves. anyone driving from the Netherlands to Montenegro and wanting to bring an outboard engine, we would be forever grateful. <laughs> Okay, you're gonna jump in the water, right? No. Yes. It's too cold. Come on. I don't want today. <laughs> Are you gonna jump in the water? Or here, or in the blue caves. The blue caves is beautiful already. So next up, the blue caves. Should be some very 
beautiful lights coming in there. So let's see, maybe we can swim a little bit, but it's still quite cold. No, 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 this one. No, 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 this one. Okay, we're not going to the blue caves. No. <laughs> so, we're gonna take a swim over here, right? Yes, so it's here a little bit colder than... But it's okay. We're just gonna do... I don't think you should be that pussy. Is it something to, to do? I had it with uh, being pregnant with Benjamin as well. Then I did also didn't like to swim. Do you remember? It was in Greece, August, very hot, but I still... No, swim. because normally you always swim, you always yes. climb mountains, you always like a mountain goat, yeah. and now you are. Oh, it's the yeah. I think it's with. I was it was with Benjamin the same. I I really have this big hesitation to swim when it's then gets too cold. I don't know. But you're gonna try now. Yes, I'm gonna try. Okay, <laughs> let's do it together, right? Yes. <laughs> okay. We're running ahead, so we have extra now. <laughs> Benjamin is really tired. You can notice that he hasn't that doesn't have that much energy. So he's with a movie inside, so we have some free time. Free time. No. <laughs> it's really cool. Don't complain. I'm not complaining, I'm just stating the facts. <laughs> okay, you can jump. Really? Yeah! Ah, Woohoo! Yeah. Delicious! It is delicious! It is delicious! Why is it hot on my own? Much more salt than in the bay. Yeah, it is. So we freshened up and now it's time. Turn on the engine. And have a sunset sail back to the marina. I feel like a Greek goddess. Pregnant. You are a Greek Pregnant. goddess. You look like Pregnant. a Greek goddess. Pregnant. Look at look at this lady. Pregnant Greek goddess. <laughs> Okay, switch positions because the anchor has to turn. You're not waiting for my instructions, Greek goddess. Okay, one moment. Okay, turning. Yes! 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 Stop! And go! Here we go!
perfect ending of a beautiful day and uh, next week we will be uh, discovering Montenegro by car so we're gonna go on adventures again and uh, driving around and after that we're gonna sail all the way south along the coast of Montenegro and then probably to Greece so a lot of experience <laughs> to be something special in the end I wish to be so much better in the end I wish to be I wish to be me